Hello everybody, it's uh, me and Erin um, and uh, the video that we've put together is to check um, an old hand anemometer and verify whether it's actually working and if it's reading um, correctly values. So I would discourage you from doing it on a new dynamometer, maybe just do it for an older one that you've got in the clinic that you want to check if it's working um, or if you need to send out for calibration. And um, the first part of the video will be on the poll test, that's what we call the poll test. Yep. Aaron came up with it, it was great. <laughs> um, and we'll come up next um, after this intro. And um, then, then, you know, uh, then are we going to be just testing it against um, some known weights just to make sure that it is actually calibrated or if, if it's not, then we can go on to actually calibrate it. So the next part of the video will show the calibration. Um, and then we're also just got one extra little test just to check if it's leaking um, and, and if you can do anything there. Cool. Awesome. Cheers. <laughs> so uh, just want to show a quick test you should probably do before you actually calibrate each uh, dynamometer. So you, usually it's probably best to remove the little um, hand grip at the front and individually test each pole to make sure they're working. So you can test the front pole and the bottom pole, top and bottom, and they're working just fine as you can see on the dial there. And then if we test this one, this is an example of one that is working fine at the top, but not at all at the bottom. Therefore this dynamometer is broken, so we would, wouldn't go on to calibrate that one. All right, so we've got the handheld dynamometer here, which is recording zero, and um, we'll test it against a non-weight. In this case, it's a 10 kg dumbbell. And what we created was a loop um, that allows us to attach it to the weight as well as hook the handheld dynamometer on it. So we wanna keep the two poles verticals, vertical and make sure that when we lift up the handheld dynamometer, we're not uh, putting any pressure onto the two poles with our hands. And then if you come over and have a look, it's spots on 10 kgs. Then we bring it back down and it goes back down to zero. So that's how you can test it against a non-weight. So um, we're just going to now show how you might go on to recalibrate the dynamometer uh, after, let's say, you found it out to be it to be out by a couple of kgs. So let's say it was maybe a couple of kgs too high. We measure it with a 10 kg weight. We're going to try and just bring that down a little bit. So um, just simply remove the front plate here, and so there's a little screw right at the front there. Just a little flathead um, screw at the top. So you can stabilize the actual um, needle and put pressure down onto the screw and then just literally just ro rotating that counterclockwise slightly. If I let go now, you'll see that it's sitting really high. And then we're just gonna gradually bring that down. So yeah, as you bring it down, bring it down to where it's probably close to the zero line and then we're actually going to go on it and then you test that again so we test it with the 10 kg weight and still probably find that it's a fraction high so come back and just edge it down ever so slightly and then you would go back test it with the weight again and see if you, you're close to, to right yet and if not do the same thing again just simply adjusting slightly until you're happy that the dynamometer has been calibrated, calibrated correctly. All right, so this test is just to get the dynamometer working at um, a higher weight, because we can probably get up to 30 kgs when we test it against um, a weight in the gym or with dumbbells. But what you want to do is just give it a good squeeze and make sure that it's not losing calibration or it's not changing um, the reading with uh, the weight that you measured before. So you just go with two hands and give it a good pump. Um, make sure that you don't get beyond 90. And uh, if there was any oil leak, this would probably push it up. Um, 
and then if you were to test it against another weight again you might see that the dial would be reading lower uh, and in that case you probably wouldn't be able to calibrate it at all.